So now that you've learned how to graph on the Cartesian plane, um, you're probably wondering, well, what's the purpose of this? So graphing is super important in math, and uh, what you learned with the Cartesian plane of graphing points is just the beginning of all of the things that you are going to be able to do in terms of, of graphing. Um, and in high school, you're going to learn about all kinds of different functions, and some of them are curves, and some of them are lines, and what they look like, and what their graphs look like. And the start of that is how to graph points. Today, we're going to look at using a table of values to graph some of these functions. So for example, this down here is a table of values. So I give you a function or an equation. All equations in math for graphs for functions start with y equals. Um, and then y will be equal to some kind of thing, a combination of things with x's and numbers. Um, it's kind of like an input-output idea. So if you want to think of it as, I'm going to put something into the equation for x, and I'm going to get something out for y. Um, this particular one is a linear function. It makes a straight line. Um, you will learn later on in high school other functions that are curves, like a quadratic or a cubic. Um, but we're going to start with a linear function, and we're going to start with how you can use a table of values to graph that. So what you're going to do is use what you've learned about substitution to get your answers for this table. So for example, if x was negative 3, what would y be? So all you're going to do is substitute negative 3 in for x, use bedmus, and you will get your y output. What you can then do with that is plot, plot that point. So you're going to find where x is negative 3, 1, 2, 3, and where y is negative 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Normally, of course, your graph would be labeled with the x and the y, and it would have your values labeled. Let's do the next point. So again, you're going to substitute, this time, negative 2 in for x. You're going to use bedmus. So now you can see why we learned about substitution. That gives you the point negative 2, negative 4. So you're going to put a dot at negative 2, negative 4. You're going to substitute 0 in next. That will give you the point 0, 2. Be careful with that one. 0 for your x means don't move left or right, and then 2 means move up 2. So there's 0, 2. And then we're going to substitute in the 2, and we're going to use bedmus, and we'll get 2, 8. So you find 2, and then you go up 8, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, because I already told you that this was linear, those dots are going to form a line. So we can take our ruler now, and we can make our line. Normally, as well, when you have this, technically this line goes on forever in this direction and this direction. So we want to add arrows to the ends of our line to tell us that it really does keep going. We just graph those points, but the actual function does keep going. So that's an example of how to use a table of values to graph an equation or a function um, using kind of this input-output method.